How's it going? provisioning. Now I just have to figure out how to get it all in the boat. Not sure I'm going to do that. This isn't everything, but I thought I would stop and just show you what the cockpit looks like. There's some groceries. Oh yeah. What are you doing? I'm working on the oven. What's wrong with it? Uh, it won't light. So our oven uh, stopped working not long after we moved on the boat. The burners worked fine, uh, but the oven stopped working. So I troubleshot it, troubleshot it down to this mercury unit. So they don't make these anymore, so they rebuilt them. So we got this new unit in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the old one out and put the new one in. And why are we doing it the night before we drop our truck off? Oh, well there's a core with this. So it's like 130 bucks core charge. So since they rebuilt them, they're gonna, they need that one back. So we're gonna try to mail that out. So I'm gonna bust this out real quick. So this part has this little temperature gauge going down. I don't see the new one. And needs to run along the side of the stove. I'm gonna try to do it without actually pulling the stove. So if you look down here, I don't know if you can see it. Here's the, here's the old one out come up the side and come out right here right here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I, what I did is I got some rigging string here and tied it on I'm hoping to be able to just pull that string up then tie the new one on and then pull it back through the thing is it's like really tight with all kinds of insulation so we'll see good luck honey yeah. good luck honey <laughs> I guess it's my luck. I'm the one that needs to cook, huh? Awesome, it worked. Well, one way. Cool. Now we gotta bring the, old, the other one down. See that? See that? How's it going? 
It's going good. Taking the uh, stuff on there. I'm using this uh, sticker off de uh, decal adhesive remover. You got it like West Marine or something. But um, I might got that Home Depot. I don't know, but it's coming off. I mean, I'll go over it again. You know, it's still got the ghost lettering, but I mean, you, you know, it's been on here forever. So if it was named something else. You can see the other letters here. But uh, you know, there are a couple scratches in the gel coat. I didn't do those, but it's all good. You know. Get it off. We ordered the uh, new name. I'm looking forward to that coming in. It's taking you a while, huh? Yeah, yeah well, it's hard. sausage tortellini that my amazing husband likes so much. It's really simple and um, it's really good. Here's the ingredients. Pretty simple. The sausage is actually a light sausage so it's not as fattening and I usually get about 18 ounces of that. And then I put it in there for a little while, let them brown, and then I add my garlic. It's just the jar of minced garlic. And then after it's browned, I will then add the rest of the ingredients, which heavy whipping cream. I do a cup of that, and I usually do half, half a cup of heavy whipping cream and then half a cup of organic milk, just to lighten it up a bit. And then we like a lot of sauce, so I will probably end up using both of those cans right there, and or jars, I guess you could say. And then I also add spinach. I like it, tasty. And then I try to get a really nice tortellini, 20 to 30 ounces of that. And then the chicken broth, you can see right there in the spice jar, I don't buy canned chicken broth, and I do not buy the chicken broth that comes in like a box only for space. That reason, you know, if I buy the cubes, it takes up a whole lot less space. And it's a favorite in our house. A little bit of salt and pepper, and we'll heat it up and eat it tomorrow, too. And that's one of our favorite dishes. I have the finished product here. There it is. A little bit of yumminess. Yeah, this is the, the last trip. Are you sad to truck. say goodbye to Chucky? Mom, well, it's not goodbye, it's see you later. See you later? Well, he needs a break because his transmission is ready to blow up. Yeah. He's been good to us. Yeah. He's kept us safe. So we're taking it back. And we're getting it right back up. We're sad, but we're untying the lines. We're completely untied from land. I wish we had like folding bikes or something. Yeah, that'd be nice. Say goodbye, guys. We love you, Trucky. We will miss our truck, but we know she will be well taken care of. Okay, so right now you're looking at the starboard side set T, and I just wanted to show you how I store a lot of my stuff. It's crazy. You wouldn't think that all this stuff would fit back here, but it does. Now, as you can tell, once I put everything back and I push the bottom part of the set tee back in, you can't even tell that all that stuff is back there. And I probably have like eight paper towel rolls back there just to give you an idea. You'd never believe it, but we still have space left on our gecko to store if needed. With the cans, you take all the paper off and I just write on there with a Sharpie. And then my pasta noodles, I put in Tupperware, as you can see right there, it's, uh, I find it better than putting it in Ziploc bags if you can fit it, just because that saves you money. You're not using your Ziploc bags. And then I'll just write, rip the directions off if I have to, or if it was a Ziploc bag, I'd write right on it. When you're storing flour or rice or anything like that, if you put some bay leaves in there, 
you can keep the widgets, funny name I know, away. It helps. Here's our fridge and freezer. Here's all my meats. Get that out of there. And then, you know, you can dig and dig and dig and you'll find more. Back there too. There's everything. I can't believe there's a month worth of food in this boat. Here's the cupboard. And of course, they go all the way back. There and back there kind of gets into like some dishes like my blender and stuff. Then we have food baskets. That's fruit and snacks and vegetables. And then over here are more like Reese's snacks and mummy's snacks, hence the chocolate. Oh, daddies are in there too, the chips. And I think that is everything. I have been pouring sweat. This is hot. I could not imagine doing this without AC. I mean, it was a lot of money, but I'm so thankful that we did it because the baby and the dogs would seriously make it so hard on us if they were hot all the time. Next time on The Lazy Geckos. We untie the lines and depart for a several year cruise around the world. Don't miss as we do an incredibly sexy renaming of the boat ceremony. Oh, and of course, we show you how to take a shower sailor style while anchoring. Remember, patrons get unlimited access to Vimeo videos and are welcome on board. Thank you to all those that donate and purchase our Lazy Gecko swag. Every dollar really does count. And remember, 10% goes to someone in need. Vimeo is uncensored and gives you a deeper insight into our personal life and our finances.